Hello, my name is April. I'm opening up a boutique lifestyle shop in Nairobi, Kenya. And uh, this shop is going to be about athletics, creativity, and um, sustainable living. So um, now we've got a really nice, beautiful selection of uh, products, as you can see. So now we are at the stage of decorating our own shop. And we are thinking of getting some uh, used and recycled materials for the project. It's, it's, it's really, it's not easy in Kenya, you know, um, upcycling this kind of concept. It's not really popular, but we are very lucky. Uh, we found a bunch of used and unwanted uh, wood pallets from one of the Chinese manufacturing company in Kenya. So um, this video is going to be about the trip I went to the factory to collect the pallets. Let's see. It's actually interesting to find out where the pallets are from. I think this is from Korea. It's too small. And that one is from Nairobi. It's a bit bigger. So these pallets we got are actually from Turkey. Oh, it looks like it's from yeah, Turkey. It's so interesting that my shop selling handmade African crafts is now having something to do with Turkish materials and we actually got them from a diaper factory in Kenya run by Chinese. Mm, I must say this factory looks pretty nice. Oh, look at this, it's so cute. It's amazing to me how the world is bonded and integrated together. The factory is located in Machakos County near Athi River Town. It's actually only around 40 kilometers away from Nairobi. Quite tall. I have to really sprint. But since traffic is pretty bad, it was quite a hassle going there. Actually, we are not on the road. I don't know what is this. Especially in a vintage truck that broke down three times on our way. Again, our car cannot start now. Yay! On the way, we pass through one of the biggest slums in the Africa continent. Is this Kibera? No, this one. Oh, okay. We passed through rivers. We even passed a national park where there are lions, rhinos, and other wild animals. Oh yes, apart from the wild animal, we also saw this. There is trucks on the road and cows by the side. Oh my god. We saw mountains and plains as backdrops of a bunch of factory and modern buildings. Afi River. In my mind, I was still thinking of it as a small village, but wow, it has changed a lot. Phew, when I sat here, the wind. And the blue sky feels so nice. It's the last time I was here, it was dusty, pretty plain, but a lot of things under construction. This time, yes, it's still dusty, but I must say, I'm really surprised that the Good town job. is becoming so busy. It was such an adventure. I saw some more pallet over there. We are seeing a small town in huge transition here. Factories, trucks, real estates are changing this small town. I hope people, or may not even be people, will all find their new ways of living along this journey. Oh my god, when I watched the video I made, I was like, ah, am I really sharing about the trip I went to collect the pallets or what am I talking about? Um, but anyway, I decided to live it like that because uh, that's actually my real feeling and really what I want to share. Um, going to a new industrial area in an emerging market. So um, I think I'll get another video talking about. So I got the palette and what we did about the palettes and um, how did we design our projects. Um, though we are still completely new, we have no experience, but then I just want to share the experience and then, yeah, share with you guys the story behind this shop. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much. I'm April. See you next time.